In this video, I'm going to teach you how to teach multiplication to children using Cuisinerons. Um, the first thing you need to know is that when you teach the multiplication sign, you are going to tell the children that they can say of, the word of. So if um, they say three times eight, they can also say three of eight. And it's going to be very easy and understandable when you use the Cuisinerons in association with that terminology. Now before you even begin to teach multiplication, what you should do is something like this. Have the child or children take out an eight rod and ask them to make as many trains of one color as they can underneath it that exactly equal eight. So we have a train of purple rods and a train of red rods and a train of white rods. Um, now, you don't have to say anything about multiplication or division yet as you are uh, doing this activity, but what they're beginning to intuit is that two fours is the same as eight, and four twos is the same as eight, and eight ones is the same as eight. Another example, um, if you have the children pull out a 10 rod and ask them to make trains of one single color that will equal 10, they will find that two fives is the same as 10, and five twos is the same as 10, and 10 ones is the same as 10. Now, um, this is also not only teaching them multiplication, but it's teaching them division as well, because 10 divided by 5 is 2. There are two 5s in 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5, because there are 5 of these. And 10 divided by 1 is 10, because there are 10 of these 1s in this 110. It also teaches the factors um, of a certain number. So the factors of 10 are, you just name the rods you see. I see a 10, a 5, a 2, and a 1. Those are the factors of 10. Um, you can also see that 10 is a multiple of 5, it's a multiple of 2, it's a multiple of 1, and a multiple of 10, of course. So, lots of different concepts in a simple little picture here. Alright, to start off with, we will do 2 times 6. So, we will read that as 2 of 6. So, you're going to grab two 6 rods. Here's one six rod, here's two six rods, two of six. Put them together and we see what is the same as two of six. Put a ten down there, fill in the empty space, and you can clearly see that ten and two, that's twelve, is the same as two times six. So the answer is twelve. For four times five, we're going to read that as four of five. So we need to grab four of the five rod. There we go, there's four of the five rod. Let's line them up and we can see that four of five, whoops, is the same as 20, 10 and 10. Um, another thing that will naturally happen as children use the rods to do multiplication is um, they will begin to intuitively understand the distributive property. So they'll see something like this and they'll notice, oh, well, two fives is 10, so four fives must be 20. After children have practice lining up the rods like this and then seeing what they are equal to. You can also um, show them that multiplication is just making rectangles and it means you know the two sides of the rectangle. So of course we have three of eight, that's three of the eight rod. Um, we see eight on this side and we see three on that side. And so we're trying to find what's in the middle of that, that's the area. Here's five times eight. We read that five of eight. Uh, one way a child may figure this out if they don't know the answer right off, is to think of 10 times 8. They will know that 10 eighths is the same as 8 tens, and 8 tens is 80. 
So that means 10 times 8 is 80, and 5 times 8 must be half of that. So 5 times 8 is 40. This says 5 times 6 equals 6 times 5. This is what is known as the commutative property of multiplication. And I think it's maybe somewhere around third grade that teachers are supposed to teach this to children. Um, it usually goes in one ear and out the other because it means nothing to them. And it's usually only shown with symbols on paper like this. Um, when you use the Cuisinerats, it will again become an intuitive concept just like all the other concepts in mathematics. So here we have 5 times 6, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the 6 rod. And here we have 6 times 5, that's 6 of the 5 rod. And um, you can see, if we were to put this on top of that, that it is the same. And you can also see that they are the same if you line them up. And we'll be able to see in a second. Okay, a little sloppy there, but um, there you go. So you can see that 5 times 6 is the same as 6 times 5 that way as well. And so um, it just becomes intuitive to children that multiplication is commutative. As children become more familiar with the rods, they will begin to figure out problems um, in different ways maybe than you or I have ever done them in our lives. Um, some things I've seen my daughters do are very interesting. For a problem like this, 8 times 6, or 8 of 6, we have 8 of the 6 rods. And um, let's see, my 6-year-old might do something like this. She would think, oh, well, I know that 10 of 6 is 60. So see, we have 8 and 2 more 6s. So there's 10 6s. I know that's 60. And I don't want 10 6s, though. I only want 8 6s. So if I take away 2 6s, that's 60 minus 12. And so I can just do 60 minus 10. That's 50. And 50 minus 2, that's 48. So 8 times 6 must be 48. And I've actually heard her talk this out to herself exactly in that way. Another way I have seen my 6-year-old figure out problems like this is to break these into groups that she can easily add. And so she might do something like this. Um, instead of 8 times 6, she would make it 4 times 12. So we have 4 groups of 12. 6 and 6 is 12. So 12, 12, 12, and 12. And um, she would probably do this in her, in her head, but I'm going to show you with rods uh, what it would look like. So I'll replace the two sixes with 12. And again. And again. And again. Okay. So. This is what she would be thinking in her head. Um, if children need the rods to do this, please let them. Um, it is very beneficial for them to figure out things like this on their own, and eventually they will not need the rods. They will not be a crutch. They will be a help to them, um, enabling them to visualize these things in their minds. So here we have four 12s. She would think, well, I have four 10s, that's 40, and then I have four 2s, that's 8. So the answer is 48. Now, if that was a little bit confusing for you, um, most likely you were probably taught only algorithms or formulas in school when you were learning math, and you um, probably did not have any type of visualization of quantities inside of your mind when you were doing math. Um, the Cuisinerods enable children and adults to begin to visualize what we are talking about when we are manipulating numbers. Um, they are not just symbols on paper and a bunch of formulas or algorithms to memorize. Now, if they use the Cuisinerods, um, everything will come together into a whole um, web of understanding of mathematical relationships. 
and um, this is much, much more effective for long-term results. Um, you may get quick results if you are teaching children to count on or to memorize the multiplication tables um, and things like that. But what that is doing is um, you're only using rote memory and it's basically just taking in information and storing it. I think it's back here in the left side of the brain, in the back. Um, and what we want to do is engage our children's frontal lobes here so that they have to actually take um, information and manipulate it and figure out what the answers are. And um, this creates better number sense in them and it helps them to just understand math so much better than if they're just learning with symbols on paper.